Hello everybody! I am so excited for this video. Yes, I am extremely sorry for this awful camera angle, but welcome to the build of the $200 PC. Uh, my camera just did something on my head. Oh yeah, I'm doing this like POV content, but hey, I'm not connected and I can go wherever I want, minus the ground point. Uh, always stay grounded. I have a carpeted floor, so that's why I'm grounded. Um, and also, I just don't want to kill any of my opponents because I don't get paid enough for this. Alright, I am so excited. But yes, this is the power supply, the CX 550 watt from Corsair. Not one I would recommend. We will mention all everything later. Everything later, okay. Alright, so first off, sorry about this horrendous mess over here. First, let's mess with that. That is the motherboard CPU RAM combo. At least should be. Alright. So we're getting the- oh, this multi-tool is very, very useful. Right, so we're just opening it right now. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Alright, just one thing to mention. First PC build I've, I've built, actually. So if I make any mistakes, um, which I can tell you I will, please just know that I'm really stupid, and this is my first time. So please just be kind. And uh, everything from AliExpress, so the cooler, this cooler, and this uh, bracket, whatever I got, um, was all just in a bag, so it was just thrown in the mail truck, just no thoughts about that, that's fine, right? It's fine. Yep. This video, okay, so if you guys are wanting performance numbers for this PC build, there will be no performance numbers. This is just the build. I am very sorry about that, but I just wanted to build it. And I did not check if any of these components work so far. Not even the GPU, the used GPU that's up there. So, uh, let's just pray to tech Jesus that everything is in working order. And, um, yep, it, everything works. Let's just pray, because uh, this was just in a bag, and this motherboard looks like box looks like it's seen better days. I see it's somewhat packed competently with this bubble wrap. All right, it's gonna be a big mess. I don't really care though. But I didn't get the motherboard that I recommended in the previous video because the motherboard that I wanted didn't ship to where I live with the RAM. But this CPU right here, we can read it on the IHS, is the E52650B2. This is a workstation chip from oh, uh, 2013, 2014. Uh, it's Ivy Bridge. So. Yeah, it mentions uh, 22 nanometer. Yeah, it's I mean it's not the best, but I've <laughs> got a constrained budget, and we're trying to build a DIY gaming PC, which I wouldn't recommend doing. We'll mention that a bit later. But I'm a bit stupid, so I did this anyway. All right, so that should all be in working order. This is the I/O plate. If we were putting this in a case, which we aren't, because we didn't have a case for this budget, it includes mounting bracket so I have an extra mounting bracket for no reason that's nice it includes your screw oh it includes some thermal paste too all right well we'll have to use that thermal paste then I have, I have an extra thermal paste oh SATA cable all right thank you so much I, I have an extra SATA cable somewhere in that mess all right so the CPU is eight cores 16 threads so I mean pretty modern if we're just looking at that regard but uh, 2.6 gigahertz and a maximum of 3.4 gigahertz and DDR3 RAM, so, mm -hmm. yep, and I believe it's ECC as well. Apparently it is uh, quote unquote new. Holy, that is a lot of DRAM chips. This is ECC RAM as well, I believe. Um, yes, okay. So to get the eight gigs on this module it is dual rank four gigabyte chips. So uh, dual rank, uh, dual rank RAM stick just means that it's basically two RAM sticks hooked into one and it's basically my explanation. Is anything silk screened on the motherboard of where I plug this RAM into? I'm not actually sure if this would be in a quad or a dual channel configuration since it's dual rank. So what I'm confused about is I know if you combine two single rank DRAM DIMMs put them in socket. I know that's a dual channel, but would this be considered quad channel? I'm not sure. Let's get these questions out of the way. 
please answer my questions down in the comments below. Um, I just like learning about this stuff, honestly. Oh, yeah, it sounded way too crunchy. Oh, no, these are definitely used dims. Yeah, the traces are rubbing away, it looks like. Oh, yeah, that's a bunch of stuff. It's still gonna make contact. So these dims are, in fact, not new. We should install our drive. And I'm aware that our power supply is over here. So I will get... <laughs> this is such a mess. This this is gonna be our uh, makeshift case for now. Um, it's just no, PCs just gonna be sitting on the mother motherboard box. So because cardboard is non-conductive. Wow. Yeah. So just in case you guys are wondering how these motherboards are actually manufactured, the manufacturers take a used chipset and just drill it out literally with a Dremel, and then they and then they manufacture a new one with the VRM. And it actually doesn't look too bad heat sink to wise. Just a new PCB all in general, which with every USB module. Oh, this is all USB too. I don't really recommend going this config anymore. I would more recommend going a, I don't know, uh, an old Optiplex or just an old workstation PC you can get cheap on eBay. And then depending if it comes with storage, get obviously at storage. But then, I don't know, chuck an RX 580 in there and then better $200 system. You're not gonna get eight cores going with that technique, but I mean, it's m more of a better foundation, I'd say. Because this chip's used anyway, probably very heavily used. Before I, before I forget, oh, there we go, perfect. As you can see, I am in very working order, and there's that other SATA cable I was mentioning. And uh, these are bike lights. Uh, they just came with CMOS batteries, perfect, at three volts. Wonderful CMOS battery installation. The reason you need to let's get our drive this is the Vulcan Z this is the same drive I recommended in the video this is probably a very strong suited $30 drive um you can get NVMe drives for this price and they're most likely 52 gigabytes but I didn't trust this NVMe slot because uh, you have to it's uh, NVMe works by yes the PCI Express off the CPU the NVMe is controlled by the UFEI BIOS. So, and I, I don't trust whoever manufactured this um, to actually do a good job of doing that. I'm really doing this out of order. Why am I doing the drive right now? <laughs> All right, we're, we're, we're of course, oh, I'm going extremely slow. We're of course gonna be using this beautiful, beautiful thermal compound. Um, Polar time. This is actually a thing that is probably legit. It well, definitely legit because it's really hard to fake a heat pipe. I mean, you just don't put liquid in it. But what's the point of manufacturing it if you don't put liquid in it? Whenever the liquid isn't that much to put in. Da -da. Da -da. Oh my god! I did this wrong. Perfect. Oh, hey, look! It comes with the same thermal pay. Oh, nope. Different branch, most likely from the same manufacturer, not, probably same factory. Give me your guts. Uh, that is not. Are you kidding me? So I have three brackets now. Um. So you do not. <laughs> this is such a mess. I don't know why I did this. I if I've mentioned it a lot already. I don't recommend going this route. Just go with a used Dell Optiplex. Install a GPU, some storage, mm -hmm. you'll probably need it. Mm -hmm. Who the heck's texting me? Nobody? Okay, good. Yeah, go back into your home. Mm. This, I mean, it's probably gonna be bad color, but I mean, it's gonna work. Sexy, look at that. Mmm, look at that milled heat sink. You can just tell from my awful quality. Okay, we're, oh, oh, and it's perfect size. Okay, too, I, I was just... I honestly thought this IHS and the CPU in general would just be wider than this heatsink, but it's not bad. 
I will probably individually review that as well. It's really not that bad. Oh, okay. We cannot use this, actually. It ever so slightly doesn't match up with the holes. Look. It's very slim, but uh, this will work. Will this fit, though? Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's mint, bud. That's mint. All right, sweet. This uses the uh, stock AMD approach, so... You're gonna have to bend these clips to mount the cooler actually, and four heat pipes actually, it's not bad for the price. But this is just a 90 millimeter fan, it's really nothing special. I believe it has RGB though, uh, so, gray. Well, this desk is a mess. Sorry guys if you're looking for quality in these videos, um, obviously quality is not in my name, just raw performance. Who needs quality when you get performance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so. I'm being dumb. I believe these just. I hope these little thumb screws. Yep. Okay, sweet. All right. I thought there was something to do with these, but no idea what those are. So of course we need thermal paste. This is an incredibly long fan thing. I hope this fan works. If it doesn't, I have fans in there I can borrow. So it's not like I need it. So let me just see how this works. So just put that. Oh my god, putting a lot of pressure on the CPU. Oh, I, that's very uncomfy. Oh, I do not like that. <laughs> oh, I don't like that at all. Okay, so we're going to be using this thermal compound from Han Zai. Oh, yummy. Um, I'm going to add a bit more. And the, uh, and the, and the, sorry, the heat con conduction expert of Vin Can Yen. Very Chinese manufacturing nannies. It's gonna be the same thermal goop, I'm guessing. Yep, it's the same. I'm adding a lot because I'd rather have lots than not enough. Now, so, first time doing this, so, don't know about that. You guys are probably squirming in your seats right now. All right, so I'm gonna put a lot of force on this poor CPU and these pins. It's so uncomfortable, I hate that. Oh, I do not like that. Okay, my my cable management is not gonna be good at all. Number one, because I'm not working in the case. And number two, because I don't even try. Exhibit A. But, um, yeah. Just performance focused builds. Fan mounted. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We didn't do something yet. We, we, gotta, we gotta put in this obnoxiously long fan header, which is just DC. So this fan's DC, uh, which means it's gonna be 100% all the time. Or we, we can probably change that in the BIOS um, with like the amount of power we put in, but it's fine. Hello. So I had to switch camera angles. Uh, because the back, the camera died, but I believe I show the footage, and if I don't, I will be mad. But obviously, if you guys are watching this, uh, then I do have it. But let's just install this. I, I really did, I just wanted to have two hands, but I guess I can't. Alright, let's just plug this boy in, this beautiful boy. Turn around, turn around, there we go. 24 pin... Male and the 24 pin female connector. Oh my god, this is aw ha 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 full. I'm gonna put you guys down. Give me a second. Oh, hopefully, you guys didn't come for quality today because obviously, you guys are not gonna get that. I need a bigger desk, of course. Look, look at that. That is kind of awful. All right, I should have just been filming this entire video on this stupid phone. All right, so 24 pin. You guys know how PC building works if you're most likely watching this. 24 pin male and the 24 pin female on the mobo you guys are in bad bad framing <sighs> push her into here click then i need eps just has one eight pin so to, if you're upgrading if you buy this power supply and you're upgrading to something that needs two eight pins you're out of luck but also it's only 550 watts so kind of load are you trying to put on this poor power supply Alright, so we need PCIe. Yep, that's PCIe power. 
I'm gonna plug her in. I'm still grounded. Yep. I almost dropped my phone. That'll be kind of bad. I just need this six plus two pin to co cooperate with me. Okay, so on the power on the power supply products page, uh, it said two eight pins. I thought that meant a dedicated rail. It's just piggy. It's just pigtailed. Okay. It's not really a minus in the power supply's favor as long as this single rail rail can deliver as much power as this needs. Alright, I'm still grounded. Yes, this is not gonna boot. I'm telling you right now. I've probably made so many mistakes without me actually recognizing them. Yeah, and then we need SATA power for the drive. It doesn't matter which one. We're gonna deliver about the same power. Sure. I mean, there's a bit of res more resistance coming, but it's a it's a it's a freaking SATA drive. It's not gonna pull that much power. She's built. It's a beaut, ain't she? This is the ugly, ugliest PC I think I've ever seen. All right, let me grab a display port cable and plug her into my 1440p 100 hertz monitor because we're gonna get that that much refresh rate on it's a V8 panel. That doesn't really affect anything. Uh, yeah, don't don't get a VA panel for gaming, please. Uh, don't be dumb dumb like me. Where are you, Display Port Cable? Oh, there you are. All right. So PC getting unplugged. Well, my main computer getting unplugged. Okay, first boot time. I'm not confident, and also I really need to get a bigger desk. This is very sad. I'm using my race car mouse. Um, because flip the power supply on. Then we got a short out. Um, these two pins. Oh. Okay, that that doesn't that doesn't mean anything though, does it? Post. The moon tour is still off. I uh, do. I need to press button, 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 button. I mean. Oh! Oh! Wait! 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 What? Huh? Wait! No! No! I don't believe you. I really don't believe you. Wait, wait, function, 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 sorry. What? What? It freaking booted! What? What? I, this? This? Uh, this booted? I'm, I'm actually flabbergasted right now. D this! This! Turned into this boot? Huh? I was not expecting this used RX 580 and this poor, poor Ivy Bridge chip that just really wants to die from 2013 to actually boot in a motherboard from Ali. How is this possible? Thank you, Tech Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I will let you guys know in a few. All right. So it'll, it'll, it's going to be a few uh, days, weeks, whatever uh, to get everything working out and um just in case that's a fake uh, rx580 or that's a fake um fake cpu with its ihs swapped i will let you guys know but i really don't know how this thing booted thank you guys thank you guys so much you, you guys aren't getting anything else sadly but yeah yeah cable management thank you guys goodbye this ain't over i um kind of forgot about the bios